Welcome to the channel and uh, in today's video I'm going to give you a brief uh, introduction uh, to a tool that I'm working on and how it can help you. So the topic today is that uh, how do you screen for uh, engulfing candles, bullish or bearish. So basically let's just begin with seeing what an engulfing candle looks like and if you go to the definition uh, here's what it looks like. So, so if you're looking for a bullish pattern uh, you need a bullish or uh, a like, uh, positive uh, close where the what do you say open of the latest candle should be um, what do you say lesser than the close of last one and the close has to be greater than the open of the previous candle. So basically you need to make sure the previous candle is red and the present candle is green and this box that it creates is engulfing this candle so that's the whole idea behind engulfing candle so uh, the tool that we're going to use is called trade plan this is the tool that i'm working on and i'm going to show you how do uh, you create the query and how do you search for such candles like for example there are more than um, i don't know close to like 550 600 coins on finance and uh, there is no easy way for you to find this type of candles and the, this tool is very flexible not just uh, for engulfing you can do much more but the idea here is just to show you just one example and once you understand that i'm sure you can use it in many more applications so without wasting any more time let's begin okay so i'll give you a brief introduction what's here so this is basically to select which base pair you want so for now we'll just keep it let's say btc uh, here is for exchange uh, we only have Binance for now, so in the future if there will be more exchanges, you will be able to select from here. This is just an uh, option where you can kind of see the whole layout, try to understand. So this image where you, we basically explain all the details and stuff, how do you select, what do you select and stuff. So let's begin. Okay, so when you come here, you will see an option called add. So here is like add a new criteria for your scanner or screener. You click on this, you see a 4, four edge close and nothing more, like you see nothing. So what does this mean? This means the which candle frame do you want to search for? So let's go for four hours. So let's look for four hours bullish engulfing candle setup. So let's keep it as it is for now, and let's go back to this and see what does again. We'll I'll go step by step. So the first criteria is that the latest candle, okay, for the present candle, the close has to be greater than open. Click here. So the close has to be greater than the open. Let's go back. So let us select close. Okay, it says let's keep it as it is. When you click here, you have to select greater than. Okay, and the open. You have to click on this. You'll get an option. You can select the open here. Cool. And you don't have to change this because what this lets you do is if you select here one, two, three, it'll let you select that many candles back in history. So that's where we'll use that for the next uh, query. So we'll keep it as zero here and confirm it. So what you are saying is the present candle has to be greater than the present open. So what we are asking is the present candle should have or the latest candle should be a green candle. Once you're done, just add it as a filter. This query is done. What is the second query says? What I mean, what is the second? So second thing is that we are telling that the candle one before the latest one, the open has to be greater than the close. Cool. So let's come back here and click again. You'll again get 4 edge here, don't touch this, let it be as it is. And then you select this, then you go to open. Now we are saying this open, instead of 0, we will change it to 1. Because again, we are looking for the one candle before, right? So that's the use case of this option. Once you're done, so it's like one candle ago. So once you have confirmed this one, just click here, okay? And again go to this drop down, you will see an option of greater than, okay? close but close of the previous candle so confirm okay and done so i'm just creating on the go let's see how it goes so the first two conditions are clear what is the other condition for engulfing candle engulfing candle no. other condition is the latest close has to be uh, greater than the previous open so let's go back here click on this add the latest close, I won't touch this it's as it is, what's I need, what I need, should be greater than, okay, the open, 
okay of the previous candle okay this is done and the open of present candle has to be lesser than the previous close so what, what the lesser basically it's below right so this has to be lesser than the one candle ago's close price so we'll go back here we'll go we'll add on one more condition and we'll say open of the latest candle has to be lesser than the close of the previous candle okay so so by this four conditions we have basically defined what we are looking for which is a setup like this so i hope i'm uh, it's clear so basically we uh, confirm uh, defined this candle and this candle and then we define the relation between those two candles simple okay so now let's go back here and we are defined that we are looking for only for pairs in bitcoin and we'll define which time frame we want and then we'll just go ahead and press this uh, run screener option let's hope there are some coins again this is on the go awesome so we have two coins where the uh, screener is telling uh, where it had found a bullish how would you say engulfing candle setup let's go to dash ptc and see whether it's you know as we need or what so we'll go back to trade plan and so dash ptc and we'll go to finance option and yes okay okay so so the thing about scanner which you're seeing is normally this the latest candle is in progress so we uh, the scanner doesn't include this because you never know that it might you know, actually go below this or go above this it's not defined it's still going to change uh, like within another 42 minutes that's when it will be like for sure what this candle means so what you're actually seeing is this one compared with this one and if you think about it if you see the as per the rules it's true so you can see uh, uh, this is the green close this is the uh, loss or the red uh, here is uh, different color white and black and yeah so this is inside this so you can see the close uh, open of this is below the close of the previous one so this is exactly uh, engulfing and but you can add more conditions that you know we can say okay the low so the low of the previous has to be lower than this and the high of this has to be higher higher than this and stuff like that because in this case we see uh, the low of the previous is uh, we say lower than the of the latest candle. We can add that condition. It's not a big deal, but that's not exactly what uh, an engulfing candle is uh, all about. We can do that. Uh, so what is the other coin? Other why? Let's see that. V I B E B. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Again. So here, if you see close, what's the value of the close here? Let's see. So the close has been same. That's why it's uh, shown up. So basically, what happened? The open in this one is three zero two. If you can see on the top side, you can see here it's three zero two zero three, and the close here is also two zero three. So it's almost equal, and uh, so, so that's the reason it's been it's been filtered over there. Um, but yeah, you can see the values here if you compare. So basically, what's happening is, yeah, yeah, two zero three, and it compares with two zero three here. Okay, so let's go for all coins. Like this will give us result for all the pairs of uh, in the market. We will get, get to see some other examples. At least till now, it's uh, you know at least all the results are matching. So this is all the coins in the market that has uh, engulfing candle. Uh, criteria fulfilled. Uh, let's look for dash USDT. Uh, let's look at dash USDT and let's see this. Okay, again it's engulfed, but it's very uh, how, do you, how do I say very tiny. But again, this does fulfill the requirement, so there's nothing wrong with the scan. Um, what about anything else? Mm. 
we can see we can try to see cost usd i think the cost did go up for the last few days cost is cd and yeah this is again uh, exactly uh, what you're looking for engulfed completely inside this one so yeah so in case uh, you're looking for en uh, engulfed candles you can do this way uh, you can create a scan like this as i showed you step by step and you can scan so there are other kind of uh, candle setups you can go for different type of candle setups and again if you can describe it you can see here you create here and such so in the coming videos i'll show some other examples maybe of uh, hammer and other type of candle formations and stuff and if you personally would like to you know would like me to make a video explaining some particular type of setup please comment so that i can at least you know make something that you people really need and uh, i guess that would be it in this video the, the main purpose was just to give a brief explanation how you can create your own custom query and you know, find exactly what you're looking for so, and guys uh, just one more thing before uh, we finish the video and uh, that is that this app that you see here it's called tradeplan.io i'll put the link uh, below the description you can come to this site go to scanner and create this but this was the mvp and a test that we are working on we are recently uh, been working on a, another app uh, that we will be launching so it's a mobile app so basically what happened was based on the feedback that we got from building this app we understood the, the needs and so we started working on a mobile app uh, the link for this also will be in the description it's called tradeplan.co and the previous one is tradeplan.io so you can go to the site sign up if you like the app and the app will have a few features such as uh, it will uh, let you select from pre-made scans like in case you don't want to create your scans uh, you can actually go ahead and create a scan in three tabs because if you see here it's a bit of a hassle so we are simplified the process it's more easier to create a query or a condition in this it's like three tabs you can create a condition uh, like in this example you can see you just have to tap, tap on create scans uh, for example you have to create a macd line then you select crossover and then you select macd signal for example and then you can have your query made uh, other than that you can actually uh, go ahead and you know make the uh, time frame selections which candle do you want to scan for at the same time you can make a a selection of the settings for the rsi and other indicators like you can you know instead of just having rsi for close you can change for open price or other things you can change the length you can edit all those things and the best part uh, the reason why we had to shift to mobile was the notifications so as i showed you there uh, you have to come to the site run it when you're online and only then you get results but a lot of people came back to us said that they would love to have a way for them to get notified so that's the reason we added that feature so do check this side out if you have any doubts feel free to connect do comment and yeah i guess that would be it thanks a lot hope it helps take care